What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now today I have a play test on this boot right here, the Skechers Razor. And I'm pretty excited to try this boot out just because the Skechers SKX. I was actually pretty impressed with that boot and I actually enjoyed wearing it. And I've heard that this is like the better model. So I am expecting like good things from this boot. It does have like a vapor vibe to it obviously. I'm going to share with you guys like the way they fit and feel, the breaking process, if they bother me or not. But before we start the video, if you guys can like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. We're close to 5k and now we'll get right into the video. Alright guys, so after juggling with the ball for a few minutes, you know, the upper feels pretty nice. The boot overall fits really great. I do have a wider foot and these kind of fit me really just right. I don't have any weird spots where they're pinching me and nothing at all. You guys can see like the width of my foot, it fits perfectly fine. Um, size 9 US fits me pretty good, so to go true to size. And yeah, so far, you know, they're comfortable, nothing to complain. The touch on the ball feels nice. The upper is like thin, but it has like a little bit of padding to it. It's kind of weird. It's not like it's like thin but still a little bit padded, I don't know if that makes any sense.
All right guys, so I'm taking a little break. It is very humid today and I'm just dripping with sweat. But you know, and so far the Skechers Razor has really impressed me just like the Skechers SKX. I actually really like it. I don't mind wearing them. Like it is like a speed boot, but it does have like a wider fit to it. And so like my midfoot, it just feels really comfortable. Like you guys can see, there isn't really a weird bumps like I usually have, maybe right here, but they, but they fit pretty good. And you know, they feel pretty nice. Like the upper, you know, this micro texture, like you feel it in hand. Not so much when you're dribbling, I found. But you guys can see here, it's like these little dimples. It is like a barefoot touch on the ball, but it has just a little bit of like padding to it. And the heel actually fits pretty nice. Like I don't have any heels, like slippage issues whatsoever. I know in the SKX, I did have a little bit of heel movement, but, but that kind of went away when I started using grip socks. But these, you know, they're fine. I don't have grip socks that have like grip on the heel. These, these are the Wii Foot grip socks, which only have like grips on the bottom. And I have no issues with it so far. And you guys can see this actually fits better around the ankle. Like I have a little bit of space here, but like it doesn't go really deep. It's mainly just like this collar area. The sole plate, uh, like I said, it feels kind of like thin and it doesn't feel as responsive this whole play is a lot more flexible than the skx which is kind of weird just because it is like a speed boot and you would think that this should have more responsiveness in the sole plate which honestly it doesn't really feel super like responsive i mean it's okay but nothing crazy and in the beginning i was getting some stud pressure especially with like this stud and i can't really blame the boots just because i am using this on a harder feel like like ag pitch so it's meant for fg obviously and so i can't really like complain about like stud pressure uh, i would have to take them to an fg field just to see if that is the case on an fg field but on an ag field just because it is a harder surface it's kind of expected with some boots and this one you do really feel it in the toe box there is a little bit of movement here in the midfoot it feels a lot more secure in the toe box especially here in this area of the foot when i found myself like cutting or like when doing step overs i felt like a little bit more movement here with this upper and i feel like this upper does like has like a stretch ability it just stretches ever so slightly and so because of that there's just a little bit of instability here in the side of the foot and here in the midfoot actually you know holds pretty well it is a different material that doesn't stretch so it does a really good job of holding this part but here in the forefoot there's a little bit of movement i found Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. You know, the Skechers Razor is a pretty good boot. It's a solid speed boot. You know, it does have like the vapor vibes. And that's just because um, ex-Nike employees did work on the Razor. 
over at Skechers. So overall, it is a very solid boot, and it's a very good first boot from Skechers. Um, obviously, it just shares the like vapor DNA, but it is like slightly different. Like the upper, like I don't know, the upper has like this stretchy quality to it, and it is pretty thin. But there's like this like I don't know, like this sponginess to it. It's kind of hard to explain. It is like a barefoot touch on the ball, but there is a little bit of like like cushioning or like padding. The upper itself is very, very uh, soft. Here, I'll show you guys. So you guys can see here, the upper is very soft. And you know, it was pretty soft, like straight out of the box. So it just gets even softer. And you guys can see there is like a little bit of like this micro texture here. It's not a lot like the Skechers SKX. It's like this like simple like pattern. And you know, it is noticeable in hand. Like when you're dribbling, you know, it's a little bit noticeable. You know, it's not super grippy, but maybe it just adds a little bit of grip. Otherwise it would just kind of be slick. So, you know, it's okay. And this midfoot, you know, I feel like this does a really good job of just reinforcing this part of the like the foot. It just holds your midfoot really well. I found here in the forefoot, I found a little bit of movement when cutting. Like I just felt like the front like part of my foot slide. And that's just because like this upper has like a little bit of stretch to it. It's kind of like hard to show on camera. And so there isn't much structure with this like front part of the boot, like the toe box. And so I just find like there's a little bit of movement. Like the midfoot feels good. The heel, you know, I just had to tighten like the top part of the boot and the heel felt a little bit more comfortable. You know, I found a little bit of movement there, but like once I tighten the top part, you know, it was fine. I feel like usually I do like tighten my boots, but then over time, you know, they get kind of loose. The upper just gets softer and so the boots kind of fit a little bit more loose. So you just need to tighten them a bit more, obviously, like when you're going through the session. And so that's kind of what happened. And once I did that, you know, there was no heel movement, no issues there. You know, there's a decent amount of padding here. It's kind of hard to see. Like it is like this microfiber gray like suede material here and there's like a decent amount of padding you know it does the job the sole plate here like I said it is a little bit like too flexible there's a little bit of snapback for the most part it's kind of flexible and I actually kind of got stud pressure with this stud here on my left foot and not my right which is weird I know it's always my left foot but I guess when I'm planting I guess I plant very hard and the impact I guess like you know I feel the stud pressure here or when I'm like cutting like very harsh I kind of feel it but then again this is made for firm ground and I'm playing on AG which is a harder surface so obviously I'm going to feel the studs a bit more so I can't really complain just because it's not meant for this pitch but this is the only pitch I do have available so you know, I, I guess I have to deal with it so the Skechers Razor it's a very solid boot from Skechers I don't know yet if I like this more than the SKX I need more time with it the SKX I actually really like just because it gives you that pinging like feel when striking the ball and I really enjoy that and so this, you, you know, like I said, does have a little bit more padding, so you don't get that same pingy feel on this boot. And today, in terms of like my shooting, I honestly wasn't very good. Like, I just had an off day. My free kicks, my shots were all pretty bad. So I do apologize if there aren't that many clips, or if you guys see my clips and they're not, you know, as good. It was just an off day, which you know we all have. And so yeah. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're notified for the full review of this boot. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.